I'm so glad you all could join me today. My name is Sangeeta Subramaniam, and let me introduce my team members as well. Tanusha, daughter of Ravi, Bhavani, daughter of Raju Durai, Yuvita, daughter of Arvidas, and Mohammad Nabil bin Mohammad Saki. I'm very excited about today's topic, which is physical hazard. Now, let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Tanisha Dr. Ravi. Today I'm going to talk about physical hazards. Physical hazards are factors within the environment that can harm the body without necessarily touching it. Physical hazards can be thought of as primarily hazards of energy, temperature, pressure or time. Physical hazards also means a chemical which there is scientifically valid evidence. Anything in the environment that can cause a bodily harm can fall under this category of physical safety hazards. Physical hazards are conditions or situations that can cause the body physical harm or intense stress. Physical hazards can be both natural and human made. There are so many physical hazards such as noise hazard, radiation hazard, extreme heat hazards, and illumination hazards. We are going to focus on noise hazards. Noise is any sound that the human ear finds unpleasing and disruptive to concentration. When annoying sounds become noise, hazards are when that noise begins interfering with communication and warning signals on the job and causes chronic health. Noise hazards occur when sounds workers are exposed to are greater than 85 decibels weighted over an 8 hour shift. Noise hazard is one of the most common physical hazards present in the occupation. Setting. In fact, there are numerous causes, effects and also ways to mitigate the noise assets. The causes of noise assets are such as the use of heavy machinery, electrical tools such as circular saws and cutter heads, pneumatic tools such as drills, grinders and reventing guns, electrical motors and generators, engineering process such as metal fabrication and other construction machines. The effect of noise assets are hearing loss caused by noise, psychological effects, high blood pressure, difficulty for the workers to accurately hear and interpret the instruction and has an effect on pregnancy. Finally, is the way to mitigate the noise hazard which are select less noisy equipment during the construction process reduce the noise, provide the workers with personal hearing protection, check the saw cutter whether it is being used correctly and use sound absorbing materials. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, I am Yuvita. In the case of certain construction sites, increased impact can already be expected from the very nature and location of the project. The later institution the latest situation mainly occurs when construction takes place in a vicinity of existing buildings or in a reflective environment. Another area which needs to be dealt with as far as noise is concerned is that a large complexes of apartment, houses and family homes. When the investment project is executed via a gradual construction process. In other words, construction takes place in stages which are each subject to individual approval proceedings, meaning that some buildings are already inhabited while new buildings are being created in their neighborhood. In order that we might work with specific values, we have to know the aquatic output value or the level of aquatic pressure at a certain distance for the evaluated source, which is information that needs to be obtained from the product sheets provided by the construction machines manufacturers. Two values are often stated on a machine's technical data sheets, which is internal and external noise. The internal noise is the noise in the driver's cab, so it is the outside noise value that is considered for the value of evaluating construction site. The main source of noise at the construction site includes construction machines, mainly machines which produce impacts. For the purpose of noise studies, these mechanisms must be considered to be the point or linear noise sources depending on the level of movement at the construction site. Some type of construction projects are not endangered by increased noise pollution at all, while others are but only when particular conditions coincide. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Nabil bin Muhammad Zaki. I'm from Bachelor of Industry Management. So today I want to present about the effect of the physical hazard noisy in construction site. First is hearing loss caused by noise. Excess impact the located hearing system in the in uh, result in the noise indicate hearing loss. This is the most major form of the work related cancer. Individual trait and the amount of the time they are exposed to noise influence the level of noisy that may cause hearing damage. So, cause number two is physiological effect. So, noisy can affect the cardiovascular system, causing blood pressure to increase and detector to be related into the brain. Stress is linked to the increase in the 
catecholamine level in the blood and number three it high blood pressure and workplace stress is more often caused by a combination of risk factor rather than a single problem constant noisy in the workplace even the reduced level elevated blood pressure and is uncomfortable this is a lot and more work to be done and number three is difficult for worker to accurately hear and interpret instruction so basically the, the concerns of business noisy in the workplace are caused by inadequate indicate, assessment and distrust in making procedure as well as challenge in recording speech that has to be said openly and clearly and number four is effect on pregnancy after for women so noisy can expose by pregnant employee can have impact on the unborn kids long-term exposed to high level of noisy in born infant during pregnancy has been shown to impair a child's hearings later in life with low frequency posing the high risk my name is Bawani, daughter of Raja Dure. my metric number is 420-300-1671 I'm going to talk about how to prevent noise hazard at construction site. First, during the construction process, how to reduce the noise. Considering noise throughout the project design stage is one of the most effective techniques to limit noise exposure. This can be accomplished by selecting noise reducing technology and avoiding technical errors that can increase noise. Before you begin to build, there are few things you can do to improve your construction site to reduce the noise, such as Powering metal tables, metal wheels, and other metal pieces with a rubber to reduce noise vibration. Objects are being modified to reduce vibration and sound to prevent mechanical damage between parts, line spinning barrels, metal ladders, and hoppers with an elastic material such as hard rubber. And ensure that missionary rotation speed do not match with frequent frequency range of the supporting structure to reduce noise caused by vibration of beams and kits. Second point is select less noise equipment. There is no avoiding the reality that construction equipment can be less noisy, but there are methods of choosing equipment that is quiet. Electronically powered machinery is generally quieter than petrol engine equipment. Hydraulically powered equipment is also quieter than electrically powered equipment. It's important to keep in mind that quieter equipment or operations can be more expensive due to better manufacturing tolerance, stronger gearbox spacing, and the use of quieter cooling system. The third point is workers should be provided with personal hearing protection. Provide hearing protection to your employees to protect them from the impacts of noise exposure. There are various methods to measure the level of noise on a construction site. One alternative is to use an app to determine how noisy it is around various items of equipment and in various areas of the work zone. One approach is to use the Sound Level Meter app from the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. There are three basic types of hearing protection such as earmuffs, earplugs and kennel caps. Thus, you could also double up on hearing protection by wearing earplug underneath ear muff. The fourth point is check that you are using a saw cutter correctly. The metal saw is frequently one of the noisier piece of equipment on a construction site. Choose a blade with the most teeth and a small gap between teeth as well as a blade with the smallest possible people's throat to reduce noise creator by a metal saw. You should also make it a habit to verify that the blade's supply is suitable and easy to change the blade when it starts to show symptoms of warmth. The fifth point is use sound absorbing materials. Construction noise can be reduced by using sound absorbing materials. Sound wave bounce off metals, woods and stone which are all sound reflective materials. Instead, use sound absorbing materials like carpet, foam cushion or fiberglass isolation. To help reduce sound wave, use these materials on the floors, ceilings and walls. That's all from me. Thank you. Construction site involves a variety of physical activity of workers, movement of construction plants and the exposure of the nearby general public. Therefore, 
by managing safety within the construction site has to involve different processes in order to ensure that the site is a safe working environment for workers and its surroundings. Construction work in currently noisy. This publication explains why high noise level on construction work site are serious that can be controlled. Many of the straightforward controls for common construction activities presented herein can be easily applied because contractors and workers do not have to have an extensive acoustical technical background to quite equipment. Most often, construction work site noise problem can be solved by the contractor and workers together. 